I am super excited about our guest tonight. Um, Troy Landwehr is a diamond ambassador with New Life. He is one of the top income earners in the company. And um, I have just been so grateful for his training and wisdom. Outside of being a great entrepreneur, he's a man of faith. He's a man of integrity. And I can tell you what, that is so important. Um, you know, uh, those people that you look as leaders and you follow, uh, those are the most important things. So thanks, Troy. Well, thank you for having me, Abby. I really appreciate you giving me a chance to tell my story. You know, I've been, I really didn't want to get involved in New You Life um, or any network marketing company because I tried it so many times and uh, I, I don't know how many companies I've been part of, uh, a dozen. <laughs> mm. So I felt like, you know, I was just a glorified customer and I, um, I felt like, you know, there was just some things I didn't see in the industry that I that I liked. And um, I didn't really have the level of success that I wanted to. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I live in Maine, so I might use this as an excuse to be honest with you. But I, I felt like all the top earners that I could ever remember were, like, from Florida or Texas or California. You know, uh, you know, none of them I ever heard were from Idaho or, you know, Montana or Maine. So right. I just felt like not being in a big city was probably to my disadvantage as well. Um, my background is retirement planning, uh, which has always been a struggle for me. I've done well on it, but um, I have a borderline learning disability. I was tested. My, my brother had dyslexia. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but... You can't read. You can have a high IQ, but you still can't read if you have dyslexia. I had a borderline dis disability as well, and I fought to get through high school, and I, I ended up dropping out of college, even with tutors and everything. Uh, I know it seems like a lot of people can't understand it, but I really gave it a, a big effort because my whole family was teachers. I didn't want to shame them. My mom's a teacher. My grandmother's a teacher. My grandfather's a pastor. My dad's a pastor. My uncle's a teacher. My aunt's a teacher. <laughs> my other aunt's a teacher. So for not, me not to get a college degree was, was very, it really hurt my self-esteem in life. Uh, it was very embarrassing that I couldn't complete college. So, um, you know, I finally got uh, an insurance license after like so many times, everyone was taking, passing it their first, second time. It took me, you know, several times. Um, but I tried network marketing. It just didn't work for me. And um, I just felt like it, it just isn't for me. And I was really hesitant on this. Uh, to even get in the industry again. Okay. So what sent you over the edge, though, to be like, I'm going to give this a try? What did you see that was different <sighs> about New Life compared to yeah. those other things you tried? Yeah, there's a several things. One really big thing. I am a, a Shark Tank junkie. I don't watch any TV except for Shark Tank. And, you know, these are business guys, and I've learned a lot about business from Shark Tank. And the, the main questions they ask, which gets them all bidding on everything, and there's a war, the sharks are swarming, is they are always ask, what is the competitive advantage? What mm -hmm. differentiates you from all the other companies? And then they say, what are you first to the market? Is there any other competition? So I always get hit up because I've been in so many different companies, and I don't know how to say no to people. I try to – I'm a man of faith. I'm a believer. Okay, I'm very active in my church. Every Wednesday morning, today was Wednesday. It's my favorite day of the week because I get together with my pastor, and even he will tell you I have a hard time saying no to anything, <laughs> right? I just don't know how to say no. My relatives bought me a book that just said no. I don't know. I, it's very hard for me to say no. And so I always listen to people when they approach me about network marketing. But when someone approached me here, Shark Tank, it, it just – what I saw here is I said, I talked to Chris, he showed me this three minute video and I go, wait a minute. Um, I did, I got in for a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at something and you're like, I just don't know if it's for me or I don't have the confidence, that's where I was at. But I'll tell you what I liked. Um, I, did, I wanted something that I could get in on a competitive advantage like Shark Tank. Right. And nobody else had. So I, I'm a plant guy. I eat a lot of green plants. I am into moringa, spirulina, chlorella. Um, I, I believe in God's foods. I'm not a vegetarian. I think I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> but I believe in God's foods. And I know a lot about HGH, human growth hormone. 
I didn't want injections. I just didn't want to do that to myself, even though I have friends that say, Troy, I'm convinced you'll live longer. My doctor even will tell you that you'll live longer on HGH. I go, really? And he goes, with, with supervision. Well, how much does that cost? He goes, a lot. <laughs> right, <laughs> a lot right. of money. So, oh, well. so I was intrigued by HGH. I just couldn't do it, you know, even though I had the money. But when I saw something that was affordable, and now here's the key, it's 85% God's foods. It's homeopathic. I'm into homeopathy. I'm into what Japan and Germany does. You take our foods and you go to Japan, it's, it's considered a poison in Germany too. I love homeopathic. I love that we have all these doctors, but I love the green doctors we have. And when I saw that we had something that no one else had, think about this. If you have a product that works, Shark Tank, you're a shark. If we have a, a product that works and nobody else has it in the world, whether it's network marketing or not, I was like, I got to get in at the beginning. I got to get in at the beginning. And we're at the beginning, the very beginning. We're still have it scratched to scratch. And I'm not exaggerating. That. I'm not exaggerating. We're still at the beginning. Um, so I saw something that we, I could get in at the beginning that was going to help people and be easy, easy to do because it's not like a catalog of products. Right. It's one product, one with pro I said, this works, it, it, it's going to be easily, easily, easily the best product in the history of this business. So I didn't want to sell. See, most people have to sell. And then here's what I just, I, I'm just being honest. I want you guys to really, if you, if you get to know me, you'll be like, oh, my gosh, he's honest to, 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 to like the Kevin, Ke, Ke, uh, Kenny Chesney song. He's honest to a fault, to a fault. <laughs> because I'll, I'll tell you things that, that you know I'm telling the truth because, you don't want to hear it. Kind of like the town. How do you, at Ben Affleck, how do you know he's telling the truth? Because I'm going to tell you things that you're not going to want to hear. Um, you know, I, network marketing, there's a whale not in the room. There's a whale in the world. And all, every single company in network marketing doesn't want to talk about this, what I'm about to tell you. Every single company in network marketing doesn't want to talk about this. And it's that you can find almost every single network marketing product on Amazon cheaper than you can get it from a company. Our Somaderm HGH product will never be on Amazon. The competitive advantage, Abby, is that, that the only competition really when it comes to HGH is we're the only FDA registered homeopathic gel in the world. It's the, I believe it's the only HGH product in the world that works. The only one that works unless you see a doctor. All the other things don't have real HGH. They're precursors, okay? Right. Right. Meaning that they, stim they try to stimulate you. They're, they're, it's not real HGH. We have the precursor and the HGH. And so if, if you don't see a doctor and get an injection uh, or, or see a doctor and get a pellet, they're called pellets, you're not going to get any, any benefit from an HGH unless you come to us. So that's why I got in to be a competitive advantage. Uh, can I add one other thing, Abby? I know you got a question for us. Okay. Oh, yeah. The other thing, <laughs> the other thing, I didn't swear, okay, I, I'm not really a, you know, I, I have swore before, but I'm not a, you know, but I told <laughs> my sponsor, I told my sponsor, I said it angrily, okay, I go, all right, I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm going to do this, okay, he's on the phone, I'm, I'm going to do this, but I'm not ever going to do this like everyone else does in network marketing. I will never, ever walk into a hotel meeting and yeah. ask my friends that Abby, this unbelievable energetic girl from, is coming to Maine or Boston, you know, I'm driving down with a car full of people to hear Abby speak. No, I'm never doing that. I'm no. never going to go to anyone's home. I go, in fact, I was going, I'm going to tell you even this. I'm never meeting anyone at Starbucks or McDonald's. <laughs> I'm doing this right from home. I'm too busy. I'm the busiest guy I know. I really am. I'm just a workaholic. I'm the busiest guy I know. I'm not going to do that. Right. And so right. what happened was I didn't, I didn't go anywhere. Besides going to church, I literally had several weeks in a row where I never put more than 16 miles in my car a wow. week. Wow. A week. I did this right from home. My goal, just to show you guys to know, I, even though I said I'm a believer, I guess my faith was really small. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I got to spit this out. I try not to get emotional. Boom. Sorry. 
My goal was to make 10000 a month in a year to maybe a year and a half. Be Sorry. Because my aunt has Alzheimer's disease and my, they're broke. And my uncle had to retire and take care of her, you know, full time. So uh, they were just, they qualified for food stamps, okay? So I thought if I could make some extra money, I could give them the majority of that and um and and help them out and what you know what i didn't know is in 90 days i mean how could i know this i mean in 90 days i had loads of friends some had some experience but you know they never made you know the majority of them never made like four or five hundred dollars a thousand dollars more a month i had a few that did but you know they were you know but i had people with no experience so i was like how's this happening we all did this from home uh, wow. We didn't have we didn't have the structure of the company actually, and we all, we were making three, four, five thousand a week, seven thousand wow. a week, eight thousand a week, and in ninety days it, it got to twenty thousand a week for me, um, and it's it's you know uh, quite a bit more than that now, and so I'm very blessed. I've been able, you know, to help my aunt and my uncle, and to uh, you know I've, yeah. I've written uh, my my church is building a brand new church, so I've been able to help them out in ways I never thought I'd be able to help them out financially, and mm -hmm. so it's been it's been a great thing. But you know it's no fun if you're the only one doing it. Okay, I'm <laughs> proud because you know I'm proud because I have so many people that have never won. Have I have people that have never made more than fifty thousand a year that are making that a month over here. Wow. Uh, just, they never, so it's, it's, you can see why, you know, just, it, it's very, very touching for me. Yeah, and I love that you shared that, Troy, because being in a position where we can do something about that is powerful. Um, it's just humbling, really. I can, I see that, um, I heard you speak about this before, and I can tell just the humbleness that's there, um, you know, being able to do that. So thank you for sharing. And I love, I've got five kids, so, you know this, so no hotel meetings, no, <laughs> no uh -huh. doing all that stuff. Social media is amazing. And uh -huh. so really, so yeah, some kind of um, getting started, you know, what, you, tell them how you built your business. So just from home, like on the phone, yeah. on social media, like well, how do you build this? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I don't want to put everybody in the same boat, okay? You know, for me, I wanted to, to really be truthful, and I didn't want to exaggerate the benefits of the product. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to exaggerate my income or, or anything, so I said, I'm going to tell the truth. So I, um, I started, and I, I, didn't pre I didn't judge anyone. I actually called people that um, I felt sometimes didn't need. The last people you would think you would call, like people you don't think would need it, people think you th they think they're too busy, I called them. Um, you know, my feeling was if, if we were all opening up a sushi restaurant um, and we knew we had some friends that hated sushi, would you call them and tell them you're opening up a sushi restaurant? Well, you would because you'd say, hey, man, we're friends. I know you hate sushi or I don't know. Oh, I didn't know you didn't like sushi. But, hey, can, can you if you run into anyone that does, can, oh, your mom loves sushi? Oh, well, that's great. That's why I called. Oh, your sister? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, send her in. And mm -hmm. you, I, I didn't prejudge. God didn't prejudge me. But I was very truthful, and this is my line. I'm just going to tell you what I saw. I just called people and said I was truthful. I said, I thought of you. You're going to be hearing about something really big. I want you to hear from me first. Mm -hmm. I feel this, this is going to go viral like the ice bucket challenge. It's going to go crazy. It, and I, I can't believe what I'm hearing, what this product does. And I just said these words, if I would you. And that's my words. If I, I, I can memorize it because I said it so many times. <laughs> I right. thought of you and if I would you. That was, I said to everybody, no script, no, you be yourself. But if I sent you a video, would you watch it? The video is good. I mean, it obviously blew our company up, but it wasn't like, uh, you know, this, it was factual, it was truthful, it was three minutes long. Mm -hmm. And uh, people watched it and I was shocked. You know, of course, you get some people nervous. Uh, what is it, you know? But you get some people like Troy. If that product works, I mean, my wife doesn't sleep at all. If that product, I go really? She goes, no, she doesn't. She goes, you know, we've been looking at it. We've been looking at things. Oh, my knee pain is so. Or I don't feel good. Let's face it. Don't you agree that over the age of forty, we don't feel the same? Mm -hmm. Nobody feels the same. We want to feel like we were in our thirties or forties. If we could feel a little better, this is a bottle of hope. And people would say. You know, I'm excited. 
And do they? Do you need to have a product experience to get started? Uh, no, that's actually one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard in my life to have a product experience. I buy things from Amazon. I once said I'd never buy anything from Amazon. It comes to my house <laughs> daily almost now. I don't even leave the house. Same you know, so so <laughs> I, I, I buy things based on reviews. And I have a, I have a, a nephew that is um, special needs. He's nonverbal. He doesn't talk. And he loves jet skis and snowmobiles. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go buy a jet ski because he loves jet skis. Now we're going to have one in the family. And I, I couldn't try a jet ski. Name a place in the world where they'll allow you to take a jet ski for a test ride. They're $14,000. Do I want a Yamaha or a Sea-Doo? They go, I can't test drive it? I bought a Ford. So can you buy something for a couple hundred bucks or a hundred bucks that you never tried? So, But tell the truth. I said, listen, I thought of you. You're going to be hearing about something big. I haven't even used the product yet, <laughs> yeah. but, but this thing's going to, what I'm hearing is outrageous what this product yeah. does and no one else has it. And people love the fact that no one else has it. Don't yeah. they want to be the first to have Nike or the first to have an iPhone or the Nintendo Wii or a Cabbage Patch doll? Everyone, but people, it's selfishly, they want to feel better. It's a bottle. Hole. So I said, I haven't even used it. Two weeks went by. I'm still calling people. I thought of you. You're going to be hearing about something big. There's a product out there that's going viral. I've been using it for two weeks, but here's what I'm hearing. I got a couple of friends that tell me they're sleeping better. Someone said their pain was about a seven. I, you've been living in life with a seven. It's now do a six or a five. I, so I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying a two. I'm not saying a zero. You know what a big difference it is to go from a seven to a six or five? I'd be like, you know, I'm like, are you serious? And they're so excited. I'm going to keep using it. Now it's down to a four. And maybe it stops them. But I said, I, I thought of you. You're going to be hearing about something big. By my eighth week, I was making 8000 a week. And wow. I hadn't noticed one thing. But I believed in what the other stories were. Uh, you know, I believe um, whatever the other people, I used their stories. Okay? And so eventually what happened? Light bulb. Sleeping better. My workouts were better. I might have noticed some things earlier, but I won't give it credit. My friends, even my friend Chip McGill goes, oh, you're, you, you said you stopped taking naps. I go, I did stop taking naps. Then it's the product. I'm like, well, I can't be sure, so I'm, not, I'm never going to say it. Or you told me, nope, can't be sure, so I'm not going to exaggerate it. Here's what I know. I noticed it was like a light switch. My workouts were better. My, my focus was better. My clarity was better. My sleeping was better. My recovery time at the gym was better. I had more energy. And when I noticed it and I was 100% sure, that's when I give the product credit. And I never lied. I never exaggerated. If you tell the truth and you let people, let them decide. Some people, they might need a little bit more results. But you know what? Your friends may not need to and they want to build this thing. And they might notice results quicker. Why do I want to wait? Why, mm -hmm. You know, can you imagine if I waited? You know, if I actually, I'll tell you a story. If I waited um, till I noticed results, two, two of my friends would have been in a business. And they're both, they're both going to be seven-figure earners this year. Can wow. you imagine if I waited and I didn't get my two friends? I would not be making the money I'm making today. I love it. I love it. Okay, so... Now, the other thing in network marketing that I kind of had this idea and some people have told me about is, you know, well, the only people that can build incomes like that, they know everybody. They, they're they not average people. And they, you know, they've got huge spheres of influence more than the average person. So now have you, tell me about your experience. Now, you sponsored, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people or, you know, what what has kind of driven your business? Well, with my income and my check, it's embarrassing. When people ask me this question, I should be a little embarrassed. Because I, with my check, I should be able to use my check, and it would be easy. I should have sponsored hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, but I probably have averaged the sponsor about two or three a month. A month. And to get to 20000 a week, I probably sponsored about – you know, 15 to 20 wow. people. So I'm sponsoring, you know, not even one or two a week. Okay. Um, so I know I should sponsor That's more amazing, than that. Troy. But, That's amazing, Troy. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I need to step up and sponsor more. You talk to everybody because you don't know where it will lead. Usually 
you don't sponsor the star. You sponsor someone that finds someone that finds someone that finds someone, and that person becomes the star, and that's how you build this. And it's just you know doing little things over the course of a time. You don't lose 30 pounds in one gym workout. You do it right. little by little by little, and it adds up. And uh, you know, one pound goes to two pounds, goes to four pounds. It's the same thing with this business. Consistency over time. I love it. Mm, yeah. All right. So any last bit of advice or words of wisdom, someone who's, you know, watching this and they're, they're checking this out, they're kind of thinking, you know, do I go for this? Do I not? Any, any last little bit, bits of nug or nuggets of truth? <laughs> I could honestly give you so much. You know, <laughs> I think the thing is, is that the majority of people care what people think and that mm -hmm. prevents them from being successful in life. Most people when they buy a car, a nice car, or they buy anything, it's never to impress the people they love because they don't have to. Right. It's to impress people they don't care for and they don't love. And I just refuse to, to buy into that, okay? I think that if you just go out and you don't care what people think and you, have, you do it for your kids or do it because your parents are still working in their retirement years, you have to understand that by, when you pass away, on average, Unfortunately, I'm not trying to be negative. It's like, boy, he's a De he's a Debbie Downer to end the call with. Him. But <laughs> on average, we have ten people that cry at our funeral, mm. and you're gonna go in life caring what people think about you. You know, success leaves. Uh, uh, you know, you have to be in your you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's why I love children, because <laughs> children are not beaten down. You tell them they can't do it, and they'll tell you, yes, I can. You can't right. do that. Yes, I can. They go on the training wheel. They fall down. I can do it. I get back up. I want to do it again, Mommy. And then they start riding. And when we get to be adults, we don't take chances. And mm -hmm. I don't think they teach us to write things in school. They teach us to be employees, and they teach us to be followers, okay? And they teach us that failing is – we're scared of failing. We're scared mm -hmm. of failing in front of people. But the fact is the person that fails the most is the one that's going to have the most success, okay? The happiest people I know in life, the happiest, are, are really people that, that, that give back and mm -hmm. they make a difference in other people's lives. The happiest people I know are doing stuff for other people. Here we have a platform where you, you're, you're going to get better in the activity and you can earn while you learn. I don't know where on God's green earth where you can get mentored by millionaires uh, and learn from them and go out and start from the beginning. It has nothing to do if you're bald or black or you have red hair, or you're short, fat, tall, or skinny. And, you know, you can plug into a system. But I think what makes our system, I say take a risk on you. Take a chance on you. Yeah. Okay? Really, take a chance. You could not have any success at all. But take a, and, and someone from my church said this. I'll end it with this. He said, you know, when you make a decision, you always ask, what's the risk? What is the reward? If the reward is higher than the risk, take a chance on yourself. You mm -hmm. only have to be right one time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're, you're in at the beginning. I will tell you, it's true. You, you want to get in the company at the beginning. And, you know, Abby, you're a phenomenal, you know, you have a big why having five children. You know, you have a great energy about yourself. You're very passionate. You're very sincere. I can just tell, you know, how they can, I mean, everyone can tell just how warm you are. And we're here to help. And we, we want to help you in any way we can. And we want you to do this from home. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, if, if there's some great training, if there's some great training sometime in your area, yeah, go to it. Or a national conference, yeah. But weekly meetings and in-home parties and, hey, you want to meet at lunch? I, no, no, do it from home. Right. Do it from home. Be with your family. And we want to help you out. And uh, I'm just blessed. I just want to give back. And I want – I'm I, the only thing missing is you. I love it. All right, Troy. Wow. So good to have you tonight. Thank you so much for taking your time um, and sharing with all of us. And you have a fabulous rest of your evening. Thanks so much. <laughs> God bless everyone. Have a right, good night. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining bye. us.